Hello everybody, it's Miss Ginny from the Rotary Children's Library and welcome to Paper Magic at uh, 3.30. Today for our craft for Paper Magic, we are going to be making a witch on a broom craft. Lots of fun. So what you're going to need for your supplies, you're going to need some construction paper you're going to need just a small piece of brown. You want some white paper, some yellow, a couple pieces of black, and a small piece of green paper. All right. So let's get started. The other thing you're going to need is some twine, string. I've got jute here. That's what I'm using. And that's an optional thing to have. That's for making a ribbon with, which I'll show you how to make afterwards. The other thing you'll want is you'll want a pencil for tracing on your construction paper. And you'll want a, a circle of some kind. I'm using a paper plate to make my moon shape because I'm going to be doing that on yellow. And I use some other circle shapes that I'm going to be using because I need to do a green one and I need to do one with black on construction paper. So I'm using those as well. And I have a triangle shape because that's gonna be for the dress of the witch. Now the other thing you're gonna want is glue. So I'm just using a glue stick. So use whatever you have to make your circles. And you're gonna need scissors, of course. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut everything out. So I'm just going to turn the computer down so you can see my table here. So I've got my scissors here and the other thing I have, you'll notice I have a fork sitting here. Now that's only if you're going to use your string for making a bow afterwards. So that's why I'm keeping a fork there. All right. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your a piece of black construction paper because of course it's at night and the yellow moon is going to be um, showing. So you'll want to cut out, like I said, use a paper plate or whatever you have to make a big, nice big circle that's going to fit, oh, probably about half of your page. So once you've, you've traced that out and cut it out, you can also trace out your, on black construction paper, you can trace out the triangle shape that I showed you. And you can trace out two of these black circles. That's going to be for the witch's hat. One of them, we will be cutting, you'll cut a slit in it halfway in the circle, because that's the hat part of it. The other black circle is being used for the brim part of it. Now the other thing you're going to want to do is you're going to need two little white strips for the legs. And you're going to want just a little strip of black because you're going to be putting stripes onto the witch's le uh, leotards or leggings that she's wearing. And the other thing you're going to want is a small piece for the broom. So this is the broom handle, small, a small piece on brown. And then you're going to want another piece of brown that I'm going to show you how to fold for the broom uh, bristles of the broom. So we're going to be folding it accordion style. And the other last circle that you'll want to cut out is a green one. So that's also for underneath the hat itself. It's part of the brim. It'll be like the sash of the brim. All right. So once you have all of your things cut out, then you're going to take your black piece of construction paper. You're going to put glue on the back of your yellow moon, because that's your moon. I wouldn't put the glue right to the edges just yet because you're going to want to slip some things underneath, some uh, construction paper underneath the moon. So don't put it right near the edges just yet. We can put that on after. And decide where you're going to put your moon. Now I'm putting mine near the top. And I want to leave enough room here so that I can do the witch and her legs and the broom. 
So I, I need enough room for that. So pretty close to the top. Just stick that on. Like I said, the sides you can glue on afterwards a little bit better. You just want it to be a little free because you're going to be shoving some things underneath it. So now let's make our hat. So remember I said you take one of your black circles and you take your scissors and you just cut a little slit into it like that. Now you're going to fold it, not fold it, but run it so that it looks like it's pointed like that. So you're going to put some glue on the inside of that slit, just like that. You're gonna put some glue in there and then you're going to set that aside. So I'm going to do that now so that it sticks to itself. So you can make it as pointy as you want. I'm making mine quite pointy, so I put it about halfway. So now you can see I have a nice pointy hat. If you didn't get quite enough glue, put a bit more on so it sticks nicely. Now just set that aside for the moment. Now the other thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to finish the hat. So now you need the brim and you're going to put this what I call the green sort of brim or sash of the hat. You're going to want to glue the green circle into one of the the black circles that you have, the other black circle that you have. So I'm going to glue that on. And just put it kind of in the middle, like that. So it looks kind of even all the way around. Now this is the tricky part. You're going to be putting your hat I'm going to even make my hat a little bit smaller here. I'm going to glue it up a little bit tighter. So now you're going to put some glue onto the green, the center of the green. Hat there or the green brim. So you can put a little bit on the edges of your pointy hat, a little bit of glue, make sure your other glue is sticking there. And you can put some on your green circle there too, just a little bit to help it stick. So I'm just gonna do just in the kind of in the, not right at the edges of the green circle, but just enough so that it'll stick. And remember, try to make it kind of even you might have to push it down a bit to get it to stick. And that's okay. You can take your thumbs and just press it all the way around if you want. So now you have your witch's hat. And I need a bit more glue on mine because it wasn't quite sticking enough for my liking. So again, to get it to stick, you might have to just push down on it a bit, make sure you let it dry. It might not stick really well at first. And set it aside, you have your hat. There's your witch's hat. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put the dress. That's the triangle shape that you cut out of the black construction paper. Remember I said you needed two pieces of black construction paper? So now you're going to want, decide where your hat is going to go. So if your hat is going to go about in the, near the top of your moon, then you're going to be snipping the witch dress underneath. Now you want to leave enough room so that you can have the legs and the broom showing on the yellow a little bit. So the broom handle is going to show a little bit there, the brown and the white legs are going to stick out the end there. So now you can go ahead and glue on your triangle where you want it. I'm going to put a little bit of glue at the top of on the back of my triangle here, just so I've got it placed where I want it. And then I'm going to put glue 
all the way around on the back and glue it onto the moon. So just like that. Now this is where you're going to put glue to glue your hat on. So I'm going to put some glue on top of that black triangle, just at the top of it. And I'm going to stick my witch's hat on there. So now you can see you've got the start of the witch. So the other thing you would have wanted to cut out of green is you want to just draw some little booties or little boots that a witch would wear, shoes. And I did two of those, so I've got those as well. So now I'm going to, to make her leggings. So I want to put some black stripes. Remember I said you need a little tiny piece of black. And I'm going to be gluing about three stripes on her white legs here her white leggings. So these are going to be her leggings. And I'm just going to measure it across just to see how wide I need to make them. Don't worry if they're a bit long, you can always trim them after. And I'm going to cut three of those for each leg out of the little black strip that I have. All right, so I'm going to cut three of those and then three for the other leg as well. So you may as well cut all six stripes because there's going to be three on each leg. That's why you didn't need much of the black, little black strip. You just needed it enough for six stripes. Three for each leg. All right, I'm just about there. I'm going to cut one more. I've got two, four, five, and one more. Once you've cut all your strips, like I have, they're really tiny, you're going to glue them on. So I would suggest that you leave a little bit of white, like I have on this one, leave a little bit of white at the top and a little bit of white at the bottom before you put your stripes on. So on the leggings, leave a little bit of white. Just take a bit of glue, glue them on. And you can put them sideways if you want. That's what I'm going to do, because then it looks a little better with the stripes being a bit sideways. And kind of spread them apart, sort of evenly, as best you can. Just eyeball it. So you can see my strips are a little bit long, so I'm just going to trim them. So there's one legging with the stripes on it. Now I'm going to do the same for the other one. Just going to glue on my little black strips, leaving a bit of white at the top and a bit of white at the bottom. And I'm going to glue them on a little bit sideways so it looks kind of neat. Keeping them spaced so that they're spaced a little bit apart there. One more to glue on. Okay, and I'm going to trim those too. So now you can see. I have two leggings. So now what you want to do, next step, is you want to take your broomstick and you want that to glue that just kind of under the dress a little bit there like that. So it's sticking below the moon. So you can place it there, just put some glue on it. And then we're going to make the rest of our broom. Now, the reason I'm putting the broom on first is because it'll be in the center. And then her legs are going to be on either side. So that's why I didn't put a whole bunch of glue 
um, on the bottom of my triangle because I wanted to slip that underneath. So now you can glue on your leggings or your legs, the witch's legs. Remember, just leave a little bit at the bottom there. And I put them out kind of to the side because it looks like she's got her legs sort of kicking out. And put glue on the other legging and glue that underneath the skirt. On the other side. So you can see that we have those now. If you, now you can glue your skirt down on the ends if it's if you don't have any glue there because we left that purposely so it wasn't all glued on. And I see my hat needs a little bit underneath it here yet too. All right, so now don't forget her shoes. You've got your green shoes, two of those. So now you can glue those onto her leggings. One goes one way. And the other one goes the other way. Remember, there's a right and a left leg. So put them in the right order. There you can see she's got her shoes on. And now if you want, because you've got everything on your moon, if you didn't quite glue the edges, like I said in the beginning, you can put some more glue around the edges to make it stick a little better. All right, now it's time to make the broom. So you don't need a really long piece. We're gonna do accordion folding. So you're just going to take your, in fact, I'm even gonna make it a little narrower. I'm gonna make my not so, so wide. I'm gonna make mine even a little bit narrower. So now you just take it and you fold it over on itself. This is called accordion style. Flip it over, fold back again, fold forward, flip it over, fold back, flip it over, fold forward and back. And you can do about as many folds as you want. It depends on how long you want your broom to be. You can see I've got a fairly long broom there but you don't have to have it that long. You can make it as long as you want. So do as many folds as you want for yours. Just remember, you're gonna need a little bit at the top. So I've got a fair bit there, but I think I'm gonna do a few more folds because I want mine a bit longer. So that's called accordion folding. So flip it over, fold it back on itself, flip it over, fold it down again. All right, so I think I've got enough for my broom now. So just for the top, so that the top can look more like a broom, I'm just gonna cut a little bit of a shape, almost like a, a teardrop or a, like a shape like that because the broomstick is going to fit on it there. So I might do one more fold just to get up a little bit closer. You can make your cut a little bit, a little bit less if you want. You don't need much on the end. You really just need a little lip like that. And you're going to be gluing that underneath there afterwards. So before you do that, you take your accordion folded. Remember, leave the end out. And you're just going to cut strips up the sides of it so that it looks like the bristles of a broom. So just really thin strips on the accordion. 
the accordion looking brown paper. Remember it's brown construction paper that you used because this is your broom. So I cut about three, four or five, make four or five slits on the accordion. Accordion fold of paper. And then I'm going to put this in and I'm going to go actually further up a little bit further up to the top here with my cuts. Remember, be careful, don't cut them off, just go only so far. And you can make them as thin as you want or as long as you want. Now mine are quite long, so I might trim the ends just to make them not so long. And let's go one more distance here with my cut. All right, now I'm going to glue that broomstick handle onto the broom. And if you find that it's looking like it's not quite the shape you want, you can trim it however you want. So I'm going to put some glue on the end of my bloom, broomstick and I'm going to put some glue on the top part of my broom and stick the broomstick to the broom. So you can see that she has a broom now. So the last thing that you need to put on, of course, and it looks nice, is if you want to do a bow, I did mine with twine or uh, jute. So I'm gonna show you how to make a bow easy enough with a fork. So you just take your twine and you're going to wrap it around from the back to the front you want one end of it, so when you cut it, make sure one end, is, the one in the back is a little bit longer than the one in the front. And then you're going to put it down through the bottom, just wind it through the bottom middle hole of your fork. You're holding the other end with your thumb. And then you're going to bring it over the top and you're going to tie a knot in it. You're going to pull it tight because you want it to be fairly tight. So you can see that your strands are like that. Then you just pull it off your fork and cut your bow the length that you want it. So you can cut your strings the length that you want them. So then if you want, you can put a bow on your broom. You just glue it onto where the handle of the broom is. And there you have a, a bow on your broom. Now the last thing you want to do, now you could have cut this um, bat out of black construction paper. I happen to have a nice black foam sticker of a bat. And it looks really good when you stick it onto your pitcher. And there you have your witch. I hope you enjoyed that craft as much as I did. And I will see you tomorrow morning for reading adventures where we're going to read a story called Pumpkin Cat at 1030. So thank you for joining me. Uh, I would love to see you again. And please send any pictures that you have into me at gjohnson at draytonvalleylibrary.ca. So thank you for joining me again today and we'll see you again soon. Bye.